I'm Gerger Brouwer and I'm here to visit a lot of old friends and to uh, hear some new stuff. Talking about this new stuff, is there anything particular that you've seen spotted today or in just the last couple of weeks that really stands out? Well, not, not today because I really, really just came in. But some, something I really thought was interesting and maybe even surprising is um, I just downloaded a new app um, which is in the same way like Moves and Human. But it's built by the, by the people of Runkeeper. It's called Breeze and you download it. And at, at the moment you've downloaded it, there's already a week of data in it. And I thought, how is this possible? And what's the, what is the point? Apple keeps a week of data of all your activities in your iPhone. So they, really? Yeah. So basically, when your iPhone gets lost, a week of all your data of the last week is in your iPhone. For me, that's pretty scary. It is scary. I was amazed at first, like, wow, the app is already filled, you know, I just downloaded it, it's already filled, this is cool. And then I thought, what? Where have I been last week, you know? And now, now Runkeeper has all this data, you know? So it was a bit scary as well, but it's, it's a perfect app. It's a really nice app. So is, uh, is, is that, in, in, from your point of view, is it more like quantified self or is it uh, wearables or is it e-health or, or uh, should we think of a new name for it? It's, it's, what's interesting is, um, you know, I've been, you know me with, with these kind of things, you know, they, Nike, Nike is pulling out this business and basically I think because most of what has been done with, the, with, the, with these devices can be done with an iPhone or in the future with a smartwatch. So they don't want to own a, a sort of in-between product. And these apps, especially these Runkeeper apps, Human, Moves, they do exactly that, you know, help you uh, get, um, uh, clarify how your health is, how you're doing, how you're moving in a very nice way. And you don't need devices for that, you know, you have the device already on you. So uh, apart from uh, Runkeeper, what are the other companies in this field that we should follow? What are the big winners in your view? Well, I'm, I've always been a big, uh, big Nike fan, and I was a bit amazed that they were pulling out. Especially if you look at um, the the future of wearable clo uh, wearable smart wear, so uh, the clothing with with sensors in it, which is going to be there. The gear, the clothing, the shoes will be there within the next five years. So I think it's an interesting way of them to pull out at this moment. On the other hand, I just had um, the last two new wearables I got. With typical sport watches, one by Adidas and one by TomTom, Tom, and they both have the heart rate monitor inside the watch, and I think that's, that's, that's awesome. You know, I've been wearing these, 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 these heart monitor bands for years, for decades already, and now you put on a watch and it works like a charm. I really start to value the, 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 yeah, the metric of the heart rate again, and it works, you know, so look at these guys. But it only works for uh, sports like running and everything. We won't see a soccer team or a hockey team with watches on the field, I suppose. No, but the, that's interesting because, for example, Adidas, but also other uh, companies already working in sort of, they almost look like bras, you know, they put on a bra and they have the same, they measure sweat, they measure heartbeat, they measure other rates. And this will, this will um, for example, uh, Manchester United measures 29 different metrics per training, per person. So it's really in, um, yeah, that, this whole quantified self, especially in sports, also in team sports, is, is, is going apeshit, you know, it's going everywhere. Okay, so if you talk about uh, innovation in sports, what are the countries where uh, the most things uh, are happening or what are the sports where the most innovation is happening these days with sensors and everything? Uh, well, it's obvious to say uh, UK of course, or US of course, but I think UK is doing really well, especially because this is the top spot for soccer worldwide, for football, um, where, which is of course the biggest sports in, in the world. Um, and uh, just this week I read a very interesting article uh, on a, a new band, also a wrist device, which was launched on an Australian uh, crowdfunding platform, but it was launched in Huan, in China, and it oversold in 4,000% on the first day. So mar it was especially targeted for the, for the Chinese market, so beware of what's happening there.